Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Electric Truck Battle Tesla Semi vs. Too Simple The juggernaut of a startup ready to drive with truckloads of a $4 trillion global freight market. And with its fleet of futuristic self-driving glories already in service in the US and China, Too Simple can actually claim miles ahead of its rival. So who are these upstart truckers, what makes their technology worth a billion dollar IPO, and can they fend off the competition from the most beloved name in transportation? Join us today while we're on the highway and ask how Too Simple plans to compete with the Tesla Semi. So guys, in today's video, we will be doing comparisons between Tesla Semi and Too Simple. Without further ado, let's begin. Although the trucking business is valued at $800 billion a year in the United States alone, the sector is facing a crisis. Why? According to industry sources, the sector is currently facing a severe 60,000 driver shortage. And as experienced drivers retire without being replaced by the next generation, that deficit is expected to rise to 100,000 over the next few years. Long hours and extended periods away from home, coupled with relatively low salaries, are apparently deterring the youth from joining the profession. But the product still needs to go around, more than ever in fact. So could technology hold the key? When most people talk about self-driving technology, they mean private cars that drive you to work while you take a nap or driverless ride-hailing services like Google's Waymo. But it turns out that long-distance hauling is the perfect application for contemporary autonomous technology. Why? Big rig trucks of the kind seen on major U.S. arteries typically make about 95% of their mileage on well-maintained, established highways. Unlike city driving, which is full of surprises and liable to random jerks like kids running across the street, being able to control speed and sometimes change lanes on the interstate is within reach of the technology currently available. And in fact, it turns out, the sheer scale of modern semi-trucks makes them a great candidate for automation, as the sensors can be separated more widely than in a regular car. Add to that the fact that self-driving truck drivers will never be tired, moody, drunk, or forced to stop for a government-mandated nap, and you start to see that a Sino-American firm founded in 2015 Tusimo claims how it can reduce the cost of freight in the US by about 30%. How? driving the truck day and night, stopping only for refueling and necessary preventative maintenance. When you consider that autonomous drivers are safe in theory anyways, insurance premiums should be cheap too. Not to mention, a study from the University of California, San Diego that suggested simple mechanical stability in applying the gas pedal can reduce the region's carbon footprint by as much as 10% in a jiffy. Too Simple is backed by automotive giant Volkswagen, as well as logistics titans Pensk, the US Postal Service, Warner Enterprises, and Union Pacific. Amazon and UPS have pre-ordered Too Simple autonomous trucks, which are manufactured in collaboration with veteran hand truck maker Navistar. So who's really behind Too Simple? If you are enjoying the video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing videos just like this. Co-founded by internationally renowned AI, computer learning, and computer vision specialist Zhaodi Ho, who currently serves as CTO, the company developed a company specializing in code to recognize the make and model of cars by analyzing images. Started my life as a software organization. How co-founded Mo Chen realized that this kind of scene recognition knowledge could be monetized by moving it into the autonomous driving space. Freight seemed like the way to go, as the demand for cargo was much lower than for human passengers, and, as we said, highway driving is much easier for algorithms to manage. Too simple self-driving technology hinges on its superior perception technology. The 10 high-definition cameras are capable of detecting objects up to a kilometer away. Too simple claims that at highway speeds, it gives the truck's onboard AI a so-called planning horizon to identify hazards and take action, of about 30 seconds, as good as or better than most human drivers. Add to this a sophisticated suite of short-range microwave radar and complementary lie technology, and the autonomous truck is safe even in the fog and heavy rain. 
Safety aside, Two Simple's one-kilometer approach is key to cutting fuel costs and carbon production. Because if danger is spotted in good time, rough braking is not required, and then the necessary unhindered acceleration. At least one fleet level, according to the company's website, those gas savings actually add up. Potential customers could get their money back on the Two Simple truck in just two years. CTO Xiaodi Hao spent six years working on neutral processing at Caltech, including long stints exploring deep learning and visual processing. As such, the patented technology developed for True Simple, which runs on partner NVIDIA chips, is capable of responding at speeds of up to 15 times faster than a human driver, while processing approximately 600 trillion operations per second. To date, all such trips have been conducted with a human safety driver, or two, to handle whenever the AI struggles with new situations. Which happens? Right now, True Simple US location are in Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, which transport goods along clearly marked modern highways in clear and sunny conditions. It is not expected to work, at least in rural areas. So how will the company cope with the threat from Elon Musk and his shiny Tesla Semi? Investing is part of the story. Both two simple founders became billionaires overnight when the firm launched its initial public offering back in April. While Tesla's business model about providing all-electric trucks with human drivers is much of the package, Two Simple Vision is, as early as 2024, to introduce human-free autonomy to its customers throughout the US and beyond. With safety drivers in the cab, Too Simple is ahead of Tesla in terms of market perception, seeing already product deliveries to its partner, and as Elon Musk and co. struggle to make enough batteries to mass-produce their semi, Too Simple's approach, working closely with existing truck makers, remains viable. Of course, autonomy is a risky business. It's one thing for a self-driving taxi noodling in Phoenix traffic at 25 miles an hour. Gunning a fully laden semi with a 70 could do enormous damage, and it remains to be seen how and to what extent the US regulators are happy to let these potential death machines loose on public highways. Can they be hacked? Not only in the C-suite, but none of Tusumo's deep ties with China, through its massive financial backing from Sundream, an investment vehicle linked to the People's Republic leading social media platform Sina Weibo. The Biden administration is carefully looking at any and all ties with a nation that is seen as a bitter geopolitical foe with far-reaching implications for optimistic multinationals like Tusimul. Tesla's semi should, if Elon Musk's timing is to be believed, start hitting the roads later this year. Yet Too Simple's co-founder, Wiskit Howe, is still optimistic about his firm's prospects to dominate the haulage business. Autonomous driving is a problem that can be solved, he insists. Only time will tell whether he will be able to deliver the goods or not. So guys, let me know down in the comment section below which one of them you like the most. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.